Hi, it's Angie from Sunny Side Up Living Blog, and today I'm going to share my very favorite family holiday cookie recipe, molasses sugar cookies. Let's get cracking. Today I'm making my favorite Christmas cookies. These are molasses sugar cookies, and this was my mom's recipe. You can tell it was very much loved by the fingerprints on that card. So we're going to start today by putting one and a half sticks of butter in a saucepan. And we're just going to mix this around until it's nice and melted. You're going to notice that when it's ready, it is going to be completely melted, but not bubbling. And to that, we are going to add half a cup of just white granulated sugar. We're going to stir that up so that it's completely blended in. And then another half cup of packed light brown sugar. Next, we're going to add some molasses, and I like to use just the original molasses, not the bootstrap type, and we're going to add a quarter cup of that, and we're just going to mix that in here too. And then, while that mixture is cooling, we are going to finally add just one egg. You don't want to add the egg when the mixture is still hot because it will cook right in the pan, and you definitely do not want that. This is what the mixture will look like, and now we're ready to move on to adding the dry ingredients together in a separate bowl. We're going to start with the flour, and you need two cups of just all-purpose flour for this recipe. What I like to do is spoon the flour into the one cup measure, and then what I like to do is take a knife and just level that off. That way I'm just not reaching that cup measure into the bag or canister and scooping it out. It helps keep the flour from packing really thickly into that. And now I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking soda and just nice level teaspoons for that. And now my spices, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cloves and half a teaspoon of ginger and then a whole teaspoon of cinnamon and finally a half teaspoon of salt. And every recipe is good with a little bit of extra salt, don't you think? Now I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to mix that all together until it's a nice consistent color just like this. Now I'm ready to add that molasses mixture to my flour ingredients here so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And my mom did not use a mixer, an electric mixer for this recipe at all. And I'm not going to either. I'm just going to mix this all by hand. And once everything is really blended, it might take a little bit of time here, but it's all going to be blended together and look like this. Now, because it's sticky dough, you're going to want to put this in the, your refrigerator and have it in there for about an hour just so that the dough stays together when you're ready to make the balls. So next we're going to line a baking sheet with parchment paper. I really like this Reynolds paper because it has some lines on it. So it's easy to figure out my spacing. Roll about a tablespoon of dough into a ball. And then you're just going to put that in another little bowl of sugar and roll that around in, in the bowl here, just like I'm doing. And then you're just going to space those dough balls about two inches apart on a sheet. There's 12 here. And you're going to put that into a 350 degree oven. If you have extra dough, you can store those for later. Bake those for eight to 10 minutes and they will be buttery and chewy and delicious. That's it for today. For more simple and homemade recipes like this one, hit subscribe.